how the indirect opener works based on your inner game. Uh, that's we're, we're delving a little bit deep onto this one, but uh, let's try to explain this one uh, to you guys. Top link in the description, check out my website if you want to learn cold approach myself. Uh, I have noticed that in the beginning, two years ago when I first started this channel, uh, I was the only person talking about indirect game and now people are starting to change. Uh, more and more coaches are starting to talk about indirect game and that's more of a testament to me knowing what I'm talking about and being a thought leader in this space. So if you were to consider getting coaching with anybody, uh, I recommend you do it with a thought leader, someone who changes the way the industry is uh, coaches, the way the industry thinks about coaching. And the best way to do that is find yourself a thought leader who will changes the way um, the industry teaches it. But let's talk about an indirect approach. Um, a lot of the opener, I know a lot of guys are going to now, a lot of the marketers out there are going to steal this, uh, but who cares, let's just get into it. As long as you guys know where it originated from, it originated from me, uh, when they start stealing it. Indirect opener. Now there's a difference between a direct opener that comes across very needy and coming from a point of weakness. Uh, and an indirect opener which comes from a point of power and a power and a point of less anxiety it takes less anxiety to come from a point of power and it come and and, and also and also uh, it shows that you have less scarcity so it projects three things really um, it shows you have the ability to let her go at any moment you don't really care you are living in an abundance so you are not needy at all and three it shows that you are coming from a point of power not a point of weakness now I've explained the first aspect of this many times that if you are going over there very direct and you are letting a girl that you don't know personally you have not built up any rapport with you don't know you don't know her and you're telling her that you want to date her, you're sexualizing off the approach, and you're, uh, you know, being direct, then what you're doing is you're, you're just telling her that this is a physical approach. You don't care about her emotionally, you don't care about her personality, it's just physical. And the only way that's going to work is if you're punching down. So if you're sexualizing off the approach, you're telling her she's pretty, etc., you are, which are two different things, but they're kind of, I put them in the same box. Uh, you are coming from a point of weakness, you are punching down, because a girl, uh, she's only ever going to do that one night stand thing with a girl that is way above her mate value. So then, you know, if you're sexualizing off the approach or you're complimenting off the approach, you might as well go follow a, a black pill channel, because that's not proper pickup, that's not proper cold approach. Second aspect of it is that a lot of guys, uh, they will do, uh, I, I refer to the extreme example of the Yad Stop. Now, people didn't call it the Yad Stop two years ago. I'd like to take credit for that as well. Uh, a lot of guys, they just called it the Stop. Oh, you must stop her in her tracks. You must have good body language and be front on and have good eye contact. Uh, they were just calling it a Stop and the marketers were just recycling the Stop which was stolen from Yad. So now, if you hear the Yad stop, I've been pushing it hard for the last two years to give Yad the credit that he deserves because he invented that. But that's also a form of direct. What you're doing is you're giving away her, uh, your power. Uh, if you approach a girl and as soon as you open your mouth, she doesn't hook, sure you can say a little bit more, and you verbally try to hook her and try to get into a conversation and she starts to drift away like she starts to turn a, a little bit away or she starts to walk off and you find yourself following look at your feet maybe set up a camera and watch your own body language get a get a wing to watch what you do if she drifts a little bit she like starts to and then you 
maybe subconsciously, because this is an inner gay problem with you, you instantly go, oh, 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 and you try to get front on, you try to get in, you know, get closer to her because you, you feel that she's leaving you. You're projecting multiple things there. You're projecting an inner game problem. You're projecting scarcity because you're fearful that she's going to leave you. Uh, and it's very needy. Like, so you're projecting multiple things at once and you're subconsciously, most of you guys out there do this, uh, you're subconsciously showing it in your footwork and, oh, oh please, you know, please come and, you know. And then what that, what that does is, the extreme example of that is the ad stop where you run and jump and plant her in her place and you stop her in her spot and then you be very direct and then what guys do is they sit back and they they put one toe up and, and they plant themselves and they, they plant their feet in this sort of like one foot in front of the other they, they bring the toe up and they rock on their heel and that is another form of subconscious inner game weakness because what you're doing is it's like that guy that is shy he's got anxiety and he doesn't know what to do with his hands so he puts it in his pockets or he puts it on his hips or, or he uh, folds his arms or he doesn't know what to do with his hands and you can see it visually that he doesn't know what to do with his hands he's a little bit nervous it's an inner game problem you're doing that with your footwork and your body language as soon as you as soon as you see any sort of as if like you're losing the girl this is an inner game thing this is you showing weakness this is you coming from beneath her this is showing scarcity it's showing multiple things at once and most of you guys out there are not aware of it uh, which is great it gives me some coaching to do this is one of the things that I do coach on my programs because I have the experience and I've thought about it a lot more. I'd like to go a little bit deeper now. Now, if you are having those problems, there are ways to work around it and you have to be willing to let her go off hello. Hello, and she starts walking. Plant your feet, let her go. Learn to let her go. You don't know her. Like if you're married to the girl that is an extreme example, then sure, you can walk and talk and go, hey, come back here. We're in a relationship, this is serious. Or are you dating her, you even know her, you're at university with her. But this is a cold approach. I've seen guys do the triple yad stop. <laughs> I've seen needy guys yad stop a girl and she's like, what the hell is this? Starts walking. And then he runs around and Yad stops her again. She's like, what the hell are you doing? She, she power walks off and then he Yad stops her her third time. That's the epitome of weak, beta male, scarcity, inner game issues. It says all of those things at once. And you're not only not aware of it, you think that it's masculine when it's not, it's actually quite weak. You're projecting beta male vibes onto her. It's also not good for your own mentality. So hopefully all of that kind of made sense. I'm not going to give you guys the keys to doing indirect game because this is free content online. Why would I? Uh, and the channel's not large enough and I'm definitely not getting enough clients to go around giving freebies. But I have given you a lot of information here. I've got a lot of information. You go to the website, you go to Indirect Game, I'll put, I'll put some more um, articles in there when I get some more time. I've got 300 articles on there. I've also got over 500 videos on this channel as well. I think I've provided a lot of free content. But I don't care how experienced you think you are. There's a very good chance that you're not as good as you could be. Sign up, do some coaching with myself, get a little even if you think that I'm full of it, if you are not happy with your results, think about it. What's the harm to go and get a refreshing course from someone who is doing something different to everybody else out there in the industry? Think about it that way. Maybe I do know something that you don't know. Maybe I've put in more time than you have. 
I don't care if you consider yourself advanced, there's a very good chance that you're not. And there's a very good chance if you don't understand this video and have the answers to what I just proposed to you, that you're not advanced and you don't know what you're talking about. And there's really, there's no harm in giving me a try, is there? You could only get better, couldn't you? Uh, worst case scenario, you go, you go, you leave and you're like, oh, Dave's full of crap. Dave's a con artist. He's just a contrarian. He's a contrarian marketer just for the, the sake of being a contrarian marketer. I can assure you I'm not. I'll see you guys in the next video.